Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so before we get started today, I want to show you the almost dry results of my last painting. Um, it's almost dry because I actually painted it the same day I actually released the video. Typically, I do my videos the day before or even two days before, um, but I happened to run out of time. I did it the same day um, and only the center is still a little bit wet, but I am so thrilled. See how you can see it's a little shiny in there? That's because that one center part is still wet, but the rest of it is dry and I am absolutely thrilled. Look at that with how this turned out and it dried perfectly. Um, and this wood canvas held out really nicely. Um, and I'm gonna go get some more. So this piece actually sold right away, um, as well as the coasters. Um, those also sold right away. Um, so this, once it's dry, maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day, it will get a top coat of crystal resin. And then um, I'm going to peel all the tape off and then really get to see how well this canvas does between the paint, the resin and all the paint peeling or tape peeling. But I wanted to show you, like, look how perfect um, the sides are. They turned out perfectly. And you guys all know how incredibly um, picky I am with how my sides turn out on all my paintings. I always say, if you are a longtime viewer of mine, I always say the sides of your painting and even the back is just as important as the front of the painting. Um, some people may not care, um, but personally for me, if I'm gonna be selling a piece for the price that I sell them at, I want to make sure that they are absolutely perfect and that includes the sides. So I don't like to see any, you know, if any paint had dripped on the side that was a color when it should be white here, I make sure I fix that. If I am doing a painting that has a specific colored base, let's say, um, uh, let's see, black or whatever, like this black piece here, my uh, St. Patty's Day pour, um, you can see that my black sides are absolutely perfect. I know you can't see because of the glare, there you go. So you can't see any white canvas through. You can't see faded black paint. Like I literally, when I'm done doing my blowout, I go around and add another layer of base paint from here to here, from here to here, and then in here I'll put more black, here to here, you get the idea, right? So my canvases are always and look see the back is super clean except for a little bit here but you know stuff happens but i always say the sides and the back are just as important as the front okay and to me it's very important because i personally think it's me personally think it's very sloppy if you leave the sides looking like a mess or if like let's say you blew it out and you scraped part of it and you didn't like that part and then you just redid another design but the scrapings from you know the paint from the scraping that you did is still along the side and it doesn't match the rest of the canvas it just doesn't look right so these are a few things i've noticed on some other um YouTube channels um, with other artists and again to each their own I'm not saying anything negative about anyone but if you are a perfectionist Jesus who is messaging me um, if anyone is as neat and tidy as I am and the sides and all that stuff matter to you as much as it does to me then you know what I'm talking about when I say clean up your sides and make sure the sides and the bottom and everything looks just as nice and just as pretty as the top of your canvas. So that's just my two cents in today's intro. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing your own paintings, when you're looking at other people's paintings, um, you know, check it out. Notice it. Do you notice the sides of someone's paintings? Are they nice? Are they pretty? Are they as pretty as the top of the painting? Um, are they messy and don't look good? 
It's one thing that I always seem to notice when I do find time to watch YouTube videos from other artists. I'm always looking. I'm like, oh, what do they, how do they do this? And does it look good like this? And, you know, I, it's just how I am. I'm a very meticulous person. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I'm just saying that's how I like to do my stuff. All right. So aside from all that, uh, today's painting is going to be a commissioned piece for a client of mine. Dale, if you are watching, which I know you are, this piece is for you. So I'm going to get myself set up and I'm going to bring you guys down on the canvas and we're going to get started. Be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So today I am working on a 15 by 30 inch canvas. And what I'm going to be doing today is another pearl painting by Amsterdam. So what I mean by that is if you saw, I just noticed my lid was open on the pearl blue and I shook it. I hope I didn't splatter paint anywhere. So if you saw my uh, one of my previous videos where I did the black base and I used my pearl Amsterdam paints, I used pearl green, pearl violet, and pearl blue. Um, that piece sold pretty quickly as well to one of my uh, really good friends and clients, Mark and Sandy. Um, so I had another viewer who wanted me to do an exact same painting with the exception of substituting the pearl green with pearl red. So today's base paint is going to be black and it is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. I just mix a bunch of it here in a big water bottle because it makes it really easy for me to have this um, base paint in a big container. All right, so Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. Oh, forgot my little squeeze bottle here to do my edges. Here we go. All right, so again, the same concoction here, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. And the colors I'm going to be using for the pour is, or are, Pearl Red by Amsterdam. And in between each color, I'm going to add Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And then I have Pearl Blue by Amsterdam. And again, I'm gonna put a strip of black. And then I'm gonna to top it off with Pearl Violet. Those are my colors going to be using my Conair hair dryer. All right, so let's put these colors back in, nope, wrong order. There we go, like this. So I wanted to separate pearl red and the pearl violet and I put the blue in the middle. And then here is my black. All right, so now I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. So the canvas has been flooded and I just finished popping all the air bubbles with the torch. Now, if you notice, I know it's a sped up version when you watch me flood the canvas, but do you notice that when I'm doing my sides, I actually dab the paint wherever you still see the canvas. You can see me dabbing it and I don't rub my hands along it, along the sides. I find that when you rub your hands, you know, the paint along the sides, you're basically just smearing the paint onto the canvas here on the sides and it's not really coating it properly. So I personally like to even just dab my finger in the excess paint that has fallen, like see the excess paint? I dab, you know, I will swipe my finger in it and I dab down and make sure I cover all the white parts of the canvas. And then I'm gonna do it again after when I'm done doing the blowout. I just find there's better coverage that way. All right, and I see a doggy hair in here. That's no good. All right, that is fixed. Okay, so let's get started. And I guess because there's only three colors here, I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna load up the colors. And let's start with the first part of the design. So while I concentrate on this, let's see. So we're gonna go from here And here and then this way I'm gonna do my wispy going this way for a change and then I'm going to bring my wispy down this way all right so now I'm just gonna add a little bit more now that I've got the right wispy that I want and the right lines there we go 
I just want to add more because there's only three colors on this and I want to make sure the paints blow out really well. And I'm going to add my thin little strip of black here because the pearl paints always look best when they are on top of a darker color. All right. I did that wrong. I put the pearl violet first. It's okay. We are going to do pearl blue next. All right. I want the pearl blue in the middle and I'm going to try and just put it over the black line here like so. I haven't used the pearl red, so this is going to be interesting to see. Get this little speck out of there that fell. All right, another layer. Oh, I can see the blue shimmer in here. Another layer of the black. All right. And that's it for black. Close that up. And now we shall do pearl red. All right. Wow, I can actually see the colors uh, shimmering through the pearl here. I know you probably can't see anything. To you guys, it probably looks just like white blobs of paint. Um, but I assure you, there's definitely color in there. All right, so I am going to pop the bubbles. All right, this is going to be interesting. So where do I want to start? I think I'm going to start in this corner here, this puddle here, and I'm going to blow this way because I want to blow into this whole negative space here, right? Because if I blow down this way or over here, I'm going to blow a lot of this puddle in this direction, and then I won't have enough to kind of fill out this negative space here. So you always have to think about what you're going to blow out first. All right. So I'm going to start here and go this way and then finish with this or continue with this line here, make my way over. And then when I get here, I'll probably come down here and keep going. So let's just get started. I see, oh, I just, I actually just tilted my head here and the light reflection from my um, studio light just caught a glare and it just glowed. That's crazy. Wow, look at this. So there's all these cute cells. Look at this little strip. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to have to, when you, you'll have to see this in the close up. Look at the cells forming in here. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, wow, look at the violet now I don't know where the red is in here and ironically red was the last one I put on the top so we'll have to wait and for this to dry and I guarantee you we'll see the red in here somewhere but right now this violet and the blue looks gorgeous all right so things I want to fix super quick is just this little this little blob here I don't like the way it doesn't look natural the petal so I'm just going to erase that little nub that is sticking out there. And this one over here, 
I just want to bring it in. Oh, this is so pretty. This is really going to shine. Okay, so that's fixed. Wow, look at this. Cells are forming as I speak. Whoa, look at this. It's just a cell in the middle of a black blob. That's interesting. Let's see, what else do I want to do? I think I want to blow a little bit of this over here. Oh, that's better. It added a little bit of a definition there because it was going straight down in a line. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Yay. What a difference between not having pearl green in here. Oh, I like it. Okay, there's nothing else I want to do to this. And I am going to fix up my edges. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix up all my edges except for one part, this part down here, because I want you to see what it looks like before I fix my edges. So I'll do the rest just to speed up time, but I'm going to leave this part here because I want you to see what I see. And then I'll show you how I fix it, okay? So let me do the rest and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So before I show you guys a close-up, here's what I wanted to show you when I tell you and when I say to you, I'm going to fix my edges. So you all saw me get my base coat on and then get my edges cleared up. But then this is what happens sometimes as the paint is just dripping down the side. So can you see the canvas like that? That to me looks absolutely horrible. I think it's unprofessional. I think it's ugly. Um, it's just not right. So when I say I fix my edges, I do another bead of paint along the sides. And this is what the edges should look like, right? So you can tell I've done here. And here's another thing that's a big no-no for me. Do you see how you can see the canvas right? Where's my finger? Right there. So if you leave that and you let it dry, then when you peel the tape off after you resin it or varnish it, that is going to show. So you have to, here it is again, right? Right there. You have to cover those. There it is again there. Don't leave those little itty bitty spots. So basically I just take my finger and I do this. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's all these little details that make the biggest difference. So what do I do? I'm going to try and do this holding my camera and doing this with my left hand because I'm not left-handed, but I'm going to try my best. So do you see here how the paint has fallen down nicely? I do not want to disturb that, but I do need to fix this. So I'm going to take my squeeze bottle and I basically just run a bead just like this across. I'm trying to, this is very hard to do while trying to record, okay? And I stop here, okay? And you see how it still hasn't gone all the way down? Now I'm gonna switch hands, so please bear with me here, okay? I'm trying to do this um, as easily as possible. So now what I'll do is I dip my finger in here, use gloves if you want, and I will dab. I don't rub. Rubbing gets you nowhere. You see that? It looks hideous. Do not rub. Dab. Dab. Okay? So, this is how I fix my edges. Just like this. Okay? And then... Another thing I want to show you. Okay, so this is all fixed and that will flatten out as it's drying. Okay, here's another thing I want to show you. You see here how the paint stopped dead in its tracks because why? There was barely no paint here, even though I did that before I started blowing out. So you don't want to leave that like that. Okay, so you can just take your finger, dab it here in the black, and I'm just going to do that. You see that? Just like so. I don't want to ruin the design there. I don't want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to do this. And over here, right here. Okay, so there you go. 
it is and there's a white spot right there cover that and there you go it is perfect now do you see what i'm saying this is what i mean when i say i fix my edges so if you're doing i gotta clean my fingers off hold on sorry i don't want to get black paint all over my new phone here um so you may think oh i'm doing it on a white canvas it doesn't show oh yes it does um it will show with white paint you may think, oh, it's just a white base, the canvas is white, the paint is white, it's not gonna show. Yes, it will. It will definitely show the difference between where there was a lot of white paint and where the canvas was barely covered with white paint. So if you think just by doing white, it's not gonna show, it will show. So no matter what color you do, white, base, blue base, black base, whatever base. Here, here's my big blue piece that I just finished resining. So you can see here, it's all clean. That's a shadow from my light fixture. But you see what I mean? There's, it's fully clean. There's no different colors going anywhere or anything like that, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. If you're a perfectionist like me, it's important to me. And again, don't forget, take your stick and scrape. Oops, not paying attention. Scrape those drips. Okay, super important. So there you have it. All right, now I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, look at the cells that have developed in this piece. Now, I can't go too close because, as usual, my camera changes the exposure and the lighting, and it just really messes with the light and the colors if I go too close on a black base. Look how pretty this, I cannot wait till this dries. I cannot wait until this dries. All right, so let me turn the lights off and I'll put the flash on and we'll see what we um, come up with. All right, so I've got the flash on and obviously, oh look, there's the red. Did you just see that? There's the red. It's all right in here, look at that. So where I thought and looked like it was white, it is going to dry and shimmer red. Oh, I see it now. I just got my forearm in the black paint. Wonderful, Canela. <laughs> look at that, look at the shimmer. I see the red now. I totally see the red. Now I'm even more excited to see this dry because, oh, look at, there's the red. You see that? <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, I love these pearl paints. Look at that. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Ooh, look at it in there. Oh, I can't wait to see this dry. Oh, wow, look, purple or violet, blue and red right there. Whoa, look at that. I love it. That is gorgeous. So there you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, if anyone is interested in a commissioned piece using pearl colors, um, it could be any size canvas, um, any of the pearl colors, all of the pearl colors, whatever you like. If you are interested, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. All the information for discounts on a bunch of products, that I frequently use can be seen in the description below my video. We've got Arteza discount, Crystal Resin discount, Loli Vefi discount, uh, discounts to washi tape. There's all kinds of discounts in the description below. My Amazon links, for those of you who shop on Amazon, it would be very helpful to me if you clicked on my Amazon links and then just did your regular shopping like you normally would. It actually helps me and I greatly appreciate it. If you are watching and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that red subscription button and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. So that is it for me for now. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.